What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. Today we're going to be doing a Contest of Mayors training narration walkthrough. Normally what I do in these walkthroughs is I go through and I explain what was right, what was wrong, and why it was right and why it was wrong. Today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be uploading more of a narrating aspect of it, trying to explain how to get to the right answer versus the wrong answer, okay? Versus just saying, this is right, this is wrong, and here's why. So it's going to be a little bit different than the other walkthroughs that you guys are used to. If you haven't already done so, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, you can join us on our Facebook page at SimCity Build It Missy NYT. You can join us on SimCity if you're interested in joining the group. And if you uh, want to join the group, you do need to be over 18. Have a low-level city on the Missy's Building Guide or a high-level city in decent condition. Okay. So we've got a premium, limited time. No, that's wrong. Okay, a upgrade war disaster could be done at any time. So that's actually a limited assignment. Limited meaning that once she runs out of war cards, she can't do the assignment. It is at main task value. Main task value being 2000 points or higher in the list. We have our predictive column on the left that tells us what the assignment has the ability to be worth. Premiums can be worth up to 3,000 points. Non-premiums cannot be worth 3,000 points. High premiums can be worth over 3,000 points. Rotatable assignments are doable assignments within op over value rules of rotation um, at the value below 2,000 points. Last resort rotatables are assignments that are non-premium, high algorithm assignments that don't get done unless it is uh, value over op, re reverse rotation, or doorway flip. Okay, no touch cancels are assignments that you either don't do or you cancel for the purpose of value opportunity and opportunity in doorway. Now we have non-premium, let's see here. We've got the premium main storage assignment. She didn't mark the regular residential. That is a non-premium no touch cancel. Premium main VU, non-premium is not a non-premium. Uh, for low-level players, shop and factory productions are premium. So metal is premium, rotatable. Non-premium, rotatable on the Paris. Non-premium LR on the coins. Non-premium R on the Epic. Non-premium, no touch on the monster. Non-premium, rotatable on the war booster. Non-premium, no touch on the design challenge. Premium rotatable on the donuts. Starting with the first choice here would be the war disaster. That is correct. So here uh, I'm going to be near. I'm going, like I said, I'm going to be talking differently. So I'm going to be talking to her specifically. So when you did this, this was correct. Here you went with the launch view. Okay. Um, you do, she does, you do have the regular residential, so that is going to be something that will probably need canceled. It's at main task value, so there's that. Um, the U was correct. Let's see. So looking at your first starting doorways, you've got the Tokyo. Now you've got a, a last resort rotatable and the repair. So here um, we have a choice. We can do the Tokyo, which just came in for a thousand points. Does it make sense to do that doorway? No. Okay. We could cancel the regular residential. Um, but we really don't know how this week's going to be to us because there are only two assignments in. We could junk the feed that we have prepped, or at least part of it, and do the metal, which, again, doesn't really make sense just yet. Or we can... Do the Paris. If it was me, I would have went with the Paris. Okay? You went with metal. For like a whopping 100 points more, you junked part of the feed, which is a lot of downtime to do. I would no, would not have done that. So now you get the uh, sugar. So here, the way that you do your prep is going to really have a, an impact on how your week turns out. You have to constantly look for 
can I keep working without it hurting me? If I keep working, is there a way that I can secure anything that I currently have prepped and do what I need to do? For example, right now, I don't know how many slots you lost from picking up the metal or picking up the feed to do the metal. I don't know how many of them you picked up. You would not want to pick up them all. You would want to pick up the least amount with being able to complete the assignment within the allowed amount of time. For metal, that could be like, you know, 10 slots or something or even less. That being said, you could prep. I don't know how many slots you have available for sugar. For all I know, this is one round of sugar for you. If this is one round of sugar, then you would, yes, pick up all of the feed and start prepping the sugar because of its value. But you really can't afford to just be idle either. So if you can do that uh, repair or the Paris assignment fast, I would wait and hold off on the prep. Okay, if it's going to be like five or ten minutes, do the assignment first, see what it's going to give you. Because it could easily give you a feed assignment and you could have just junked it, you know, and that would that would really suck. Or you could cancel and see what that gives you and then prep. You went with the Paris. Now you immediately get VU back for 1,000 points. So you had VU for 2,000. Now it comes back for 1,000. Um, so it's not been good to you. Your three starting doorways are the Tokyo for 1,000, the repair for 1,200, and the sugar. Okay? So now what I would do if it was me is I would prep the sugar and cancel the regular residential. You also have War Booster down below. Ooh, that's different. Hold up. So you have a War Booster down below. So before you do a cancellation, you would want to eliminate the risk of having upgrades rolling in. Um, you do have a lot of time left, though, so it could be a long time before you touch this. <sighs> yeah, that's... What did you do? I don't understand. Oh, you, no, you didn't do the sugar. What'd you do? Delivery to Tokyo? Is that what you did? Okay. I don't... I don't know why you did that one. Um, all right. So you do the delivery to Tokyo. Then you get keys. So you do keys for 1600 now you get glass for 1240, um, assuming that you're prepping the sugar. All right. Now you get the war booster. All right. That leaves you with flour for 1680. You really need to get that 2400 regular residential canceled. Now you had an upgrade roll in, which we knew was going to happen with the following of the, the booster. Um, so now I would probably just wait and get the sugar out of the way first before you keep burning assignments. You went with Epic. Okay. All right. Now you get keys for 2000. London delivery for a thousand. It just came in for a thousand. Doesn't make sense to do it. Okay, you should have just waited for the sugar. Now you get a 1440 on shoes. Okay. Uh, again, either doing the sugar or canceling the upgrade. Okay, canceling finally. Okay. So notice how, again, same thing that happened with Flex's week. We located the doorway that we knew was going to be the good one. And it took you several tasks to kind of get that doorway opened up. So we've got the, the war deliveries for 2000. Now you get a 2400 task. So you canceled a 2400 and you get a 2000 then a 2400. Okay. Now you get a launch rear war attack. So now, sugar should be done. Like, you should have already prepped it uh, and had it ready to go. I don't understand why that's not being done yet. Maybe you didn't prep it. Maybe you didn't know because you... I don't know. I don't know what you got going on. 
Um, here you went with the rear war attack. It just came in for a thousand. Yeah, the doorway was good to you for two assignments, but you have to think. You did a cancellation on it. So you lowered your average by 2,000 points by doing that cancellation, okay? You got a 2,000 point assignment in return, but you had to complete that assignment. So it cancels that out. So you're still down 2K on your average. Then you got a 2,400 uh, epic. So you went 400 points up on your average. So now you're 1,600 negative on your average on that doorway. Then you do a 1,000 uh, war disaster task. So now you're 2,600 points down on your average on this doorway. Now you get 400 points back on your average for this doorway, okay? So you are 2,600, so 400, so 2,200 negative on this door. And you get a Tokyo delivery. Now you do the sugar, okay? So sugar leads to keys, so 2K, 2K, 2K. So, so far this doorway has been three tasks, 2K in a row, steady average on this doorway, okay? Uh, you ended up, I assume, not being able to do that many epics in a row. You had too much downtime. You had to keep working. At which point, uh, you went with the VU. Uh, okay. VU wasn't really good to you. And, well, I mean, I don't know what you had going on with the shoes, but... Okay, so you do the VU. Now you get the sugar back. That's kind of similar to what happened to Flex. Um, okay, so you're getting hit with a lot of factory productions and obviously epics because you rotated in your epics. That's the difference between your week and Flex's week. He wasn't able to rotate in the epics. So prepping the sugar again obviously because of its value, but you got to keep working too. So I don't know how long you have on your Epic. That would be your next play if you could do that. If not, then shoes should have been considered. I mean, it's 400 points more. And we consider that to be premium for you. The deliveries haven't come in for anything good so far. Now you get a 1440 on chairs. Now you do the shoes. Shoes leads to chems. Now you do the sugar. You get the lunch legendary. Okay. Okay, lunch legendary leads to a 1200 Latin, which sucks because that doorway was actually being somewhat decent. Epic. 2K. 2K on the keys. Now you get a 1480 on feed. That sucks. So now looking at your list, we've got 35 assignments remaining. Let's do a task assessment super quick. This is where you, you look at your list and you go through and you see what's doable, what's not. Because here's the thing. Oftentimes what you guys will do is you'll look at what you can currently do and you just kind of get, you get tunnel vision and you say, okay, this is what I can do right now. This is what's doable in my list, but they don't, you don't think about what you can open up, right? So we have to look and see if there's anything we can open up because we have too many tasks left to, to sit here and whittle away our average on a crap doorway just because that's the only assignment we can do, right? So we've got a 1480 on feed. I don't know if it's bedtime for you or not. Uh, Latin, which we cannot cancel. We can't afford the risk for that. So crossing off Latin, Chemicals is not within the ballpark in value, and that doorway wasn't very good anyways. The upgrade is out. The glass is out because we would do feed before glass. Um, then we've got the repair, which is out. The storage, which is out. All of these are out besides the donuts, the feed, and the chairs. You have to go 35 assignments plus tickets, and you've got <laughs> a long factory production, a chair assignment, and a donuts assignment. The donut assignment is the only one that hasn't been touched. It's at the bottom of the list. It could shake things up enough 
to possibly open something up. If it's bedtime, you could prep the chairs, prep the, the feed, prep the donuts, and when you wake up, do the feed, see if you can open anything up. Um, again, depending on what time of day it is for you. If it's morning, then I would say go with the donuts first, even though it's significantly lower in points, purely for the purpose of changing up your list. We have to open something up. This is not working, okay? So you went with the chairs, you get the 2K Tokyo, all right? Now you get a 3K VU, 2K on the Epic, 1800 on the Launch War Attack, 2400 Epic, 1760 on Textiles. Okay. So that doorway was halfway decent to you, right? Now you're on some more downtime. I don't know what you prepped in your shop, but you would junk the feed or whatever um, and keep working. So you're going to go with donuts. Now you get a 1680 on metal. Now you probably prepped the donuts, right? So if you prepped the donuts and they were already there for pickup, it literally would have taken you seconds to do that assignment. It would only make sense to do that assignment and wait the few seconds to see what that assignment is going to give you before you fill your factories. So you should have been able to do the metal. Okay. Now you get the 2400 Epic. And now you're stuck sitting again because you can't do the Epic, which sucks. Now here you went with the feed. I don't understand why really. Um, If you're, okay, so yeah, your downtime on your Epic, which would mean you only had one workable doorway, that would suck. You probably already had feed prepped. So I, I can understand why that, that would be the case. Okay, so you do the feed. Now you get the 1KVU. You're prepping the textiles, waiting on the Epic. Uh, oops. You did the VU, or, or the textiles, and it looks like it gave you regular residential. At which point you did the VU to keep working. You got grass for 1600. Okay. 1200 on an old town. So you're getting swamped with upgrades. Now you do the epic. 1600 Paris. 1600 epic again. 1800 on the glue. I mean, 20. Yeah, you have to do the tax now. 3000 on the VU. 800 on the Paris. Okay, so now you're at 16 tasks remaining. You've got the textiles. That should have been what you did. Yeah. Here you should have just taken the downtime. You had more than enough time to do the, the textiles first. Didn't really make sense to sacrifice here. Um, okay. 3K. Now you would have done the texts, I'm assuming. No, you did, Jesus, okay, bricks. Uh, 1,600 on keys. What? Oh, that's right, okay. So you came to me about the prep. You had already prepped uh, I told you you needed to do textiles, like you needed to take the downtime for tax. Because it was two rounds and you hadn't prepped the tax, now I remember, um, which sucked, you n were able to prep the second round of tax first, this allowing you to prep all of the chems, the second round of tax, and that way, um, if the VU, so... The plan was to do the VU, or to do the chemicals first, see what the chemicals gave, and then she could start the, the textiles assignment and then prep the second round of text, trying to get two things, you know, done at once. So, like, the, the chems takes about two hours, and the textiles takes, like, three. So, side by side, I mean, we could prep the chems and part of the text and get two assignments done at once. Normally, we don't do chems at that value, but again, we have to open something up here because nothing's working for her. So she does the chems and she gets the VU for 2000. Now, 
the keys come back for the value of 1200 She's got the second round of the textiles completed, so she can take the downtime for the text, and now she gets VU back for 1000 Here she went with the keys. Now she gets sugar for 1720 Okay. Minerals keeps her working. She can go do the epic. The epic really carried her this week with those extra points. Um, 1,200 on hammers. Here, uh, I don't know how much time she has left, but sugar, she really needs the points. She, if she had enough time, sugar would have been correct because it doesn't make sense to... It doesn't make sense to finish days early and sacrifice points. It only makes sense to sacrifice points if those points will be made up later by your sacrifice, right? So if you've got five days remaining and 60 tasks remaining, you don't know how your week's going to be to you. But when you are more than halfway done and have significant time remaining, that is when you can afford to say, okay, this is why. I made those sacrifices earlier in the in the week. I moved quickly so that when these situations occur, I can afford to take the downtime. It defeats the purpose of moving quickly if you don't use that time to benefit you later on in the week, right? And sometimes your week may not require that. So you don't have to, to do that. You can finish the whole week in two days and you made all the right choices. But there's a reason you move quickly. That is so that you can afford to take that downtime that's needed. So now you do the uh, 1600 on the Epic, 2000 keys, 1K Tokyo. So again, here I would go with the sugar. Okay, now she gets minerals back, 1800 cargo, 1600 regular residential. So at this point, she has how many tasks? I can't see how many tasks remaining. So she does the. Oops, where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. It, the storage, then she gets 2K keys. Corn. Tokyo delivery. 3K storage. Okay. 1600 Epic. Launch Rare War Tech. 600 Cargo. So here, she's on value over op. So it doesn't matter what the opportunity is. The highest valued assignment is what you would do. So she's looking at the VU. Unless there's something down here. So repair. Okay. So repair leads to Tokyo for 3000 1600 common war attack, 2k uh, keys, repair for 2000, 2000 upgrade. So now moving with the highest assignment, we would go with the VU. Oh wait, no, sorry, the, the coins down below. Spatulas for 1680, Epic for 2400. 900 on the cream. Okay, so what can we do here? Can't afford to cancel. We're going with our highest, which would be, I believe it's a VU. I can't see the bottom half. Yeah, VU. So why didn't we do the monster instead of the VU? Well, because the VU has better opportunity, right? It's premium and so forth. So here she does the VU. Looks like Either that was her last assignment or she just didn't add any more screenshots. So that being said, if that was her last assignment, then depending on how many days she had left, if she had like a whole day left or something, I would say wait and see if you can come up with the storage pieces to do another storage upgrade. Don't just automatically assume that you can't if you have time remaining. Once you've completed the assignment, don't claim the rewards. Here's the thing about leaderboards, okay? Just because you don't think somebody's hacking doesn't mean they're not hacking. A lot of times hackers will deliberately go undetected until the last minute. A lot of people save milestones till the very end. 
or they try to save tickets. If they think they can beat you, they will try. If they think that you're out of tickets, they'll, they'll stop using theirs because they want to save resources. So ideally what you want to do is you want to save the last three milestones to be collected for the last 30 seconds of the game, okay? Along with your last assignment. Your last assignment can be ready for pickup and, and write, you know, claim on it. it. It'll say claim. If you collect that an hour or two before the contest mayors ends, you're giving them enough time to complete assignments they may have left to beat you. If they don't think they need to spend those assignments to beat you, they're going to, to do it and you're going to win and they're going to be sitting there kicking themselves for not just doing the damn assignments. This is why when you play, you go all in unless you are safe to do so. And you're not safe to save tickets unless you are like way above them. Like we're talking 60, 80K above them. So it's rare that you're going to be able to save tickets safely. Okay. Um, in this case, like I said, I would have at least attempted to locate the storage items needed um, and possibly been able to secure another 3,000 points. A lot of the mistakes that were made this week on her part were mostly Lux was, was the opportunity. Okay, so what you guys have to notice, and your screenshots are everything, okay? When you go back and you look, and it was the same thing I was talking about with flexes, Notice how it wasn't until you reached near the, the bottom half of the list that things started to shift and change. Unfortunately, most of the time, those are LR tasks, so you have to look at the sacrifice. That's when doorway flips happen. You say, okay, I need to flip this last resort rotatable doorway elsewhere so that I can possibly open up something better. Somewhere in there, things should have been shifted completely different. Now, it's hard to, to say you know, when things were right and wrong for factory assignments, because I don't know what your time of day was and your amounts and your preps and all that. So if you can in the future, try to put something on the screenshot that tells me what you're prepping, how many, when, whatever, okay? 